In a leaked phone call rife with expletives, we hear who we're led to believe is Captain Pettis venting to someone. It's not clear if the call was made on duty or off. And why are you sitting up here running your mouth today? You might want to go home and attend to the DV charges that you don't put on your motherfucking husband. Now, you've been white men since you came on the department. That's how you to get off the FTO status over there in District 3 when your mother monkey ass was still on FTO status. Officer Tony Nash is arguing Pettis violated two administrative regulations. One says discriminatory harassment in the workforce will not be tolerated. That includes oral or written communications that contain offensive name calling, jokes or slurs. The other addresses a respectful workplace environment free of bullying or inappropriate behavior. Local 12 has reached out numerous times to both officers but never got a response back. Joe Mallory, president of the Cincinnati chapter of the NAACP, says he's spoken with Pettis about the complaint. The things were said on the audio, you know, I, I can't, you know, justify, you know, the comments that she made, but those were her feelings at the time. And like I said, it might not be her proudest day, but she was venting to a friend in a private conversation. He adds the captain thinks the conversation happened last summer, so he questions why it was released now at a time when Pettis has applied to be an assistant chief. She's a high-ranking officer. They may want to make an example of her, but I don't think that's fair. This isn't the first time Captain Pettis has faced controversy in the workplace. In 2018, two white officers accused her of engaging in racist behavior, and FOP so, President Dan Hills has accused her of a hostile work environment. However, this time, he's coming to her defense. Are the words proper? No, of course not. Um, is the whole thing of how this is coming to light proper? I don't think it's proper either. Again, that was our Paige Barnes reporting there. The city's Human Resources Department will be investigating the complaint. Cincinnati Police Chief Teresa Thiege says there should be no difference in how police treat those they serve and those they work with.